Greetings. This is Rohit from Resume Guru, and we are back again with an other video on how to make a very good electrical engineer resume. Okay, let's get started. So, who exactly is an electrical engineer? In a short summary, an electrical engineer is someone who designs, develops, and maintains electrical systems and equipments, powering everything from buildings to communication networks. It's a core engineering role that blends innovation and problem solving to improve efficiency, safety, and technology in everyday life. So now that we have covered this, let's move on to how to make a good electrical engineer resume that can highlight your skills effectively. We'll start off with what are the essential things that must be included in a good electrical engineer resume. So to start off, you have to highlight your core technical skills. Now, what does that include? That includes uh, any software such as AutoCAD or any particular technical skills uh, with regards to you know electrical engineering such as circuit design. The thing about this particular role is that it is a very hard skills uh, oriented role. There are a lot of particular skill sets that you must have as an electrical engineer that need to be highlighted here. Next up, adding internships or industrial visits. Now, if you are a fresher with not much work experience yet, so if you have done any industrial visits or if you have any internships under your belt that you've done, uh, these definitely must be mentioned to show that you have some hands-on experience that will really amplify you and make you stand, up, stand out from the crowd. Next up is mentioning academic projects. Again, this is more fresher oriented, but uh, this is a very good way to substitute having not having much work experience to show. Because if you have work experience, you can obviously mention that that will take priority. But if you don't have good work experience, mentioning any academic projects or any internships is very important. Last but not the least, you should also add your certifications because as mentioned, an electrical engineering role is a very hard skills oriented role. So for skills like these, having important certifications makes you look a lot more credible. So now let's look at a good electrical engineer resume to understand how to make such a resume and help you stand out in the market. So this is one of our examples of an electrical engineer resume. We have obviously removed any confidential information to maintain the privacy. An electrical engineer resume has to be divided into a number of sections. So let's start off with the first one, which is the contact information. In the contact information, you have to give your name, phone number, email and LinkedIn profile URL. This is so that the recruiter can contact you easily and it's also very important for ATS. ATS we've covered numerous times in our previous videos but this ATS auto picks up such information and it, it's important that you mention all the contact information for it. Next up is the profile section. Now profile section is, or the summary section they mean the same thing. They refer to a brief overview of you as a professional that you give on top of your profile. This makes it easy for the recruiter to skim through the resume and understand what you're good at at a glance. So we have divided the profile into multiple bullet points. What that allows for is you can cover more information and make it easier to glance at. Once you've done, once you're done with the summary, next section that's important is your skill section. For this particular client's case, we have added things like electrical maintenance, predictive breakdown maintenance, cross-functional coordination, environment and safety awareness, power plant maintenance, etc. All such core competencies have been added, which the recruiter will be looking for in an ideal candidate. So they have to be added here. Next up is the experience section. So in this particular client's case, because this is a more senior level case, they have been working in, a, in an organization for 13 to 14, 14 to 15 years. So that has been mentioned. We have also given a brief description of what the company is. Then you also mentioned the key deliverables that have been done. This. Uh, this section needs to be done pretty well because the work experience that a client has is of the highest priority uh, when it is being scanned by the recruiter. Of course, if you don't have any such uh, work experience to show, then you can replace it with any academic projects or any internships. Next up is the academic credentials or the education section. Now, in this case, it has to be pretty simple. Uh, you have to add the dates, a date from uh, during which you graduated from these uh, institutes. And then you have to mention the degree name and the university or college name. This section has to be very brief and simple. It's just you have to present it in a very well formatted manner. Last but not the least is an additional information section. This is not mandatory, but normally this is where you put information that you probably don't have space for in any other section. So this basically adds additional value to your resume. So this is why it's important. Overall, as you can see, we have covered everything in the resume. So you can make it a single pager, which would be uh, recommended. But if you have a lot of experience, this particular client only had experience in one organization. So it was easy to summarize it into a single page. But if you have a lot more experience, multiple organizations, then you can maybe stretch it to 1.5 pages. Uh, and if you have a lot of experience, then max two pages, but try not to go beyond two pages because a recruiter only spends six to eight seconds looking at your resume. So if you uh, stretch it for more than two pages, like 2.5, three pages, 
they are not gonna look at that information and they may even skip your resume entirely. So this covers our topic on how to create a good electrical engineer resume. If you want to get more information, you can check out our full blog, which is in the link uh, given in the description below. If you have any queries beyond that, feel free to reach out to us on our WhatsApp number or also using our website, which is resumeguru.in. Or you can also leave a comment below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Last but not the least, if you found this video helpful, please uh, drop a like and also subscribe for more such information. And thank you so much. And we hope you found value from this. Have a very good day.